What's up, Virgo? So y'all already know y'all was first in line. I had to go ahead and do a little shuffle like, all right, Spirit, who next? And guess who came out? The Hermit in Reverse. So some of y'all butts is celibate and y'all ready to bust the hell out. Y'all ready to end the celibacy like, boop, okay, it's time to do it, okay? Because y'all ready. <sighs> Obviously. <laughs> but yeah, y'all came on out. So y'all want to know what y'all person secretly fantasizes about you so first we're gonna start off with a little bitty tiny tea, the little tiny tea messages that they may want to say this could be little things that they are you know secretly attracted to that they didn't tell you yet about you oh this person said you awaken they kundalini tea okay they kundalini you awaken they kundalini all right so you got that tantric sex okay virgo all right that woke sex can we be each other's teacher or student? <laughs> they want you to tell them how you did that. Like, how you do that? How you do that? How you bring me to this level of awakeness? How do I be seeing you on a 5D, 6D, 7D, 11D? <laughs> they be seeing you on all type of Ds. So this might be for a masculine Virgo. I don't know. But maybe you do have astro sex or astro project. I love how we can have a whole conversation without speaking. So this person, they do. They love the depth of y'all spirituality together. Okay, so whoever this is, y'all definitely, y'all either y'all been intimate in the spirit or y'all been intimate. Listen, all of a sudden, I'm telling you, and it's making designs for you too. I don't know what the ancestors want to say to you right now, Virgo, but they want to speak to you. Okay, so, okay, what else does this person want to say to Virgo? I get lost in your eyes. Yeah, you probably got some tense and <laughs> some intense eyes. This person says you're mine. I just want to say you're mine, you're mine. Fuck what you heard, you're mine, you're mine. They said this love will last a lifetime. I've said things that I can't take back. Dang. All right, so you and this person definitely at odds, but the connection is strong. It says I'm just not ready to settle down yet. So, yeah, if this person backed away from you, it's because they know you worthy of a deeper connection that they just wasn't ready to give to you yet, unfortunately. But they know that when they're ready to come back to you, that this love can last a lifetime. And this means that also, no matter how much time you guys have spent apart, that this person still feel your energy and they still feel the pulsation and the vibration of love between you guys, okay? Ooh, they said you minds. Bye. All right, I hope this wasn't for nothing. All right, so they hoping that, oh, I astral project to you at night. This little book, uh, your energy is golden. Oh, no, Virgo. They said I got somebody else pregnant with a sad face. <laughs> Damn, they don't want to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm the one that broke the news to you, Virgo. But they got somebody else pregnant. I'm sorry, that's not funny, guys. I think it was because it's the sad face. Because I feel like when this person tell you, they're going to be really emotional. You know, because they really don't know what you're going to say. Um, and that's probably why this person, this person wasn't ready to settle down. And, you know, they could have been, you know, entertaining other people. And somehow, somebody got pregnant here, okay? But they feel like they'll always love you. You know, and there's something about the spiritual depth of this connection that's making them feel like, man, they can't let this go. Even though there's someone else here, obviously, and they have a child. <laughs> that's so funny. Listen, because I just said something about my cheekbones in the last one. And whoever this is, they think you got high cheekbones. They like your high cheekbones. Yeah. But this person feel like, and they love your flowing hair. Um, also, this person feel like you got rose-colored glasses. They feel like you don't know them. They feel like you just see them as this, like, Prince Charming. And that's why they afraid to really tell you everything. Like, listen, I'm not ready to settle down. Because they feel like it's going to be so disappointing to you. So that's why this person really highly depends on the spiritual aspect of this connection. Because this person feel like they just can't come towards you they feel like they can't come towards you they feel like the, they said some harsh things they got someone pregnant um mm -mm. 
But they is like, oh gosh, they say they sorry they disappointed you. Can we fall in love again? Oh boy. So yeah, I'm just so stuck on this little sad face like I got somebody else pregnant. Oh God, y'all. I don't know what y'all gonna say to that. Y'all probably like, I'm chopping this video off. Forget him. Don't holler at me, sis. It's not my fault. I swear I didn't do it. Um, Man. This person, they feel like they meant to learn a lesson from you. They still, they feel like this is like a world in reverse type of energy because they feel like it's unfinished business. They feel like they still got more to learn from you. They feel like you guys haven't completed a contract. And they feel like this is something that they're going to be feeling. They're going to be feeling your energy forever. That's how they feel. And they come to you at nighttime. Okay, so. Oh, man. I don't know who's saying I hope this all wasn't for nothing. It could be you or them. It just depends. But, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a deep sense of admiration, attraction. And then especially with the spiritual connection between you guys, it's something there. But, you know, this person definitely got themselves in a tizzy because they done got somebody pregnant. Okay, and they is looking like, I don't know how I'm going to tell Virgo that I got somebody pregnant. But okay, let's go ahead and get the love energy. Let's just see how they feel it on a love level before we jump straight into the physicalities. Okay, guys. Okay, so ooh, ooh, this person do not have clarity. They definitely was blinded in the past, but they realized that you guys have a past life together, possibly because they accessed their Akashic records. Otherwise, um, this person can be receiving a lot of deja vu or they could be having a lot of dreams of you guys from a past life. They could have even meditated and basically they could have witnessed, you know, bits and pieces of y'all past life here. But they still try to piece things together. All right. So they really don't know. They feel that deep sense of connectivity because they so obviously recognize it's yours from another lifetime. But then it's like they have a lot of fun with you, too. Like, they feel a kindred energy. You make this person laugh and feel uplifted. Because I feel like they kind of a seri more serious energy. And with you, they feel like they can let loose, be they self. You know, you know, just act goofy. You not going to judge them, you know. And they be act probably acting, you know. You can act goofy around them too, you know. And y'all could just be yourselves. It's so much about y'all that's alike. But at the same time, you know, y'all life put y'all on different paths, you know, and so y'all trying to make sense of it all. I feel like this person is overcoming or you could be overcoming some type of insecurities or whatever. So this person definitely um has some illusions that they dealing with too. They trying to figure out if this is the real thing. They feel like it's too good to be true. They feel like they dreaming. They like, you know, this you know, having these past life dreams about you is making this person second guess. Like, is this just a fantasy or is it really possible that me and Virgo can have this beautiful connection where, you know, it, we just have great times together, great chemistry, a sense of kindred energy between us. They want to know, is this the real thing or are you, you know, are you just pretending to love them until they get comfortable with you and then are you just going to show them a whole nother side to yourself? That's what they want to know because they used to people putting on a facade you know doing whatever they got to do to win them yeah this person they still have to cleanse their energy from somebody else but they do want to come back when they come back they're not gonna come back fully cleansed of this other energy i'm gonna just tell you that right now but this person may be rushing back because they don't want to hide your love. They love for you anymore. This person may be feeling like they running out of time to tell you how they truly feel. They don't want you to just up and walk out of their life before they can truly express how they feel about you and whatever else it is that they feel like they need to express. I feel like they ready to. They may or may not be ready to tell people, but they definitely ready to tell you. If they was unclear in the past, they're clear now. And I don't know what sparked. You know what what happened here. You know, it's saying love is coming is in reverse. And it's because this person still haven't cleansed their energy. That's one thing you got to be aware of. Because I'm getting lust, fun times, 
and like they want to come to the forefront and tell you about their feelings but with secret love showing up here period is letting me know that it may be between you guys but maybe they don't want nobody else to know about y'all and it could be because this person is still connected to something yeah, because I'm getting on the fence. I mean, I just am. I feel like in the future, this person going to want to propose to you, but it have to be after they wrap up loose ends. With wedding bells in reverse, I'm definitely getting that this person could possibly already be married. You know, whether you know that or not, that may be something else that they have to tell you because this person do feel like they did some things that they can't come back from. And you likely going to find that out because with this secret energy, it's looking like they could be telling you about other people and they could be telling you how they feel about you as well. All right. So, but they definitely ready to come back in from out the cold. All right. But remember that other energy is still attached. They need to go ahead and cleanse their energy. Really, my ear is ringing. As soon as I said they need to cleanse their energy first, I'm telling you that now. So you already got to try to keep in mind what other energies they dealing with. Because if you deal with this person on an intimate level, this day that they come back, likely whatever energies they aren't cleansed of ain't even ready to cleanse themselves of because it would at least came in upright, especially if they at least have the desire. So they're not quite ready to let go of something. They might be becoming clear about how they feel about you, but they don't have clarity as to what they're going to do with this other situation. And that's just the bottom line. All right, so let's get one round of sexual energy for Virgo. What is this person's secret sexual fantasies with the sign of Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Ooh, the Ace of Cups, y'all. This person ain't playing. They love you. They want to get you pregnant, all right? So you got to be careful for real. It's something about your hair. Your hair is nice and shiny, flowy. Didn't they say your hair was flowy, girl? So make sure you keep it done because they on their way, for real, in July. Before this month is up, they'll be there. And with the Ace of Cups here, it's like they coming with a big old couple of... This this person want to do the mama pop, pop, okay, they 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 ain't trying to just straight come in, you know, giving back shots. This person wants that heart to heart. They want to lay, you know, they want to lay. They want to see you face to face. They may want to even look into your eyes as this person is coming to their peak. If I'm making it clean enough for y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's clean. Look at it, y'all. Spot. In your eyes, see the sparkle in your eyes. Oh, don't scratch up the back because you might be for real. You definitely might be. But this person gonna be gripping the sheets too. So y'all both been waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they can't make no promises right now, y'all. I'm telling y'all that right now. So y'all gotta be aware. This person love you, but it's all about the follow through. You know what I'm saying? Now, one thing is, is this person, they may be trying to come in without that flirtatious type energy. I think I just activated a mosquito bite. Like, you know how you activate it by, like, scratching it a little bit, then all of a sudden it just start itching. I shouldn't even did that. But, um, yeah. Ooh, with the five of pentacles in reverse, yes, this person is trying to come back because they do. They feel left out. They feel like they left they self out. They feel like they left their self in lack. This person is deficient of love because it's like they can only get full off your love. I feel like nobody is loving them to the extent of the amount of love that you pour into them. And it's like that person feels starved of that energy. They really do. You know, so with this... um. I do want to clarify this real quick before we go in any further. Why this page of wands is in reverse? Oh, <laughs> because this person just don't know. You ain't about to let them get you pregnant this night. For real. Yeah, this person still got healing to do. So that's the thing. This person may be talking a big, good game, but are they ready to follow through that day? No, they not. They're not. They're, this may be them coming in getting full off of you again, you know, and then they might, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say that this person going to do another disappearing act, but I'm going to tell you now with the star in reverse, this person is coming in to give you an offer, but it's not complete wish fulfillment. They still got healing to do, and they still have to get in alignment with you because again, this person still isn't cleansed of this previous energy. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's get more. Oh, excuse me. 
Yeah, this person been holding on to you. They been holding on to you, looking at old news that you done sent them. You know. I feel like they've been a lot closer than what you know. Whatever that may mean. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even want to say that this person got, like, some type of access to, like, surveillance. But I feel like this person can watch you closer than what you think. You know, you could just be thinking, like, oh, they watching my social media. I feel like at nighttime, this person closer than what you think. Oh, because they astro project to you. Because I feel like this how they be. When they astro project, this just how they be. They probably be undoing your nightgown. Like, let me see something. You probably be waking up like, why is my titty out? Like, <laughs> what I say? I said that back in the day. Like, if you don't wake up with one titty out, you ain't slept good enough. Go back to sleep. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this person definitely be astro projecting because they, when I say they closer to you when you sleep than what you know, you be knocked out. You know, you probably fall asleep with the candles on. They be blue out in the morning. You like, how do candles get blown out? Yeah, because they done astro projected, undressed you, took your bonnet off, all that. And you just like, now my hair messed up. They don't care as long as they had that little minute to run their fingers through it. Okay, let's get more spirit. What is this person's secret sexual fantasies? I just feel like this person wants to come re-inject themselves into your life because they could feel you pulling away. They could feel like you don't value them. They could just be feeling like, I mean, like, they could be feeling like they haven't valued you, you or got a chance to tell you how they feel. And so if you get ready to walk away, this person coming in as a, at a de desperate attempt to make you hot. So even if they not ready, like they not completely and 100% prepared to like walk away from something and come towards you, this person just want to come and tell you like, listen, this is how I feel. Don't just think that I don't give a damn about you. You know what I'm saying? But I got to tie up loose ends. So this person is coming to you before they ready. All right. So let's see. Yeah, they ain't ready to give you no title yet. So that's the thing. This person gonna give you the dream night. I'm not even gonna lie. This person is gonna rock your world, blow your mind, you know, tell you how they feel about you, you know, but things are getting ready to change and move in a positive direction. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie to you. The time is now. It doesn't matter if they haven't made the move yet. The time is now. Like this is the perfect time for all of this to be happening. Okay. So this is divine time and you have to trust the process. So if this person gotta tie up loose ends, know that they coming in and they coming in soon. They coming in before the month is out because they have to stake their claim. They already said, I just wanna say you mine. Forget what you heard. You are mine. You know what I'm saying? They're not playing with you. They made me they made me be serious. I didn't say for me to do that. They said that. Say, say, I'm not playing with them. Tell them I'm not playing with them. They not playing with you. For real. Okay, let's see. Let's get some more secret sexual fantasy from Virgo. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I was about to say they might want you to play the dominant role. And that's that's that still can be so. Especially if they always the one that dominate or take control. That may be the missing link to it. Maybe sometimes they want to switch up the, the role. And they want you to actually play the dominate tricks, you know. So if you're the feminine energy, this person may want you to take control. And they don't say that. They just want you to do it. You know, don't ask. Just take, Okay. So, yeah, that's what this person want to do. This person already know that you guys have hurt each other some way, somehow. This person want to put the weapons down. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They don't want to play no more tit for tat. I keep seeing stuff out the corner of my eye. Sorry, y'all. But also, this incense smoke is just... It's putting on the show for y'all because it didn't do this, okay? So, let's get more energy. Yes, this person can't wait to watch you undress. They love to watch yo every move. Oh, my God. Like, seriously. It's like, yeah, take them boots off. Take that skirt off. You know, they want you to take everything off. They see you as such a goddess. They see you as a literal goddess. But they can't wait. I mean, this person is already naked. You still got on your shoes and everything. So, I don't know if you going over there or they coming over, but wherever, like, it seemed like you coming to their house and they answering the door naked. 
For real, because they already butt naked waiting on you. Like, how long it take? How long it take? You know what I'm saying? Like, this person just watching you undress. Like, and you just taking your time. Like, <laughs> one shoe off. Like, and they like, I'm about to rip your clothes. Like, I don't know. But again, remember what I said. The Hermit in Reverse came off. So, this person probably haven't had sex in a long time. So, if they still in a relationship, it's probably sexless. Okay. All right, if not, like I said, it's that deficiency energy. This person need your energy exclusively. Like they said, they can't find you with nobody else. You're theirs. Again, they still got to get out of a situation. They help you not shy because they're not, obviously. Either they answering the door naked or if they coming over to your house. Somehow they make it with a, they take their clothes off before you. And you like, we at my house. How are you naked before me? You know what I'm saying? But this person definitely with it. They are with it and they ready. Um, I feel like you, like, they still going to give you a bit of a shock. Like, you have seen this person naked before, but maybe this person even more buck. Or maybe because they have so much intensity that been building up, waiting on, waiting to see you again. This person probably going to be missile like, pow. You know what I'm saying? You just like, like something about that energy down there. You just like, oh my God, BBE. Like, what? Oh my God, What? <laughs> like, I don't know, but you surprised so either it grew or it's just like, boom, that's the most you ever seen it. Like, dang, wow, wow, you know, but yeah, you're going to be dreaming about this for days. This that junk where you're going to be at your desk the next day. Like, they're going to be like, Melissa, Melissa, are you here? You daydreaming about that sexual last night? You were like, girl, shut up. Why are you telling my business? But anyways, let's get one more energy. Then we're going to go on that second round. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody got to free themselves. And I'm, I'm not even playing. This person either got a Capricorn on their ass or they got a straight up devil. The person that they got to leave behind is hella demonic, satanic, whatever you want to call them. But whoever it is, they toxic. It's an unhealthy attachment. And this is the reason why this person is having such a hard time. And for some of y'all, y'all fed up. Y'all fed up. This person is coming to confess and it might be an emotional confession. Especially if you finding out that they got this person fragments okay because you're gonna have to sit and think about it like man this person low-key crazy and this man is having a baby with her now can i deal with this girl for the rest of my life are we gonna always be trying to kill each other because what you know what i'm saying like am i always gonna have to be a secret just so that this girl don't try to kill me or is this why this person is not fully cleansed of this energy what are they coming to tell you do they just want you to be a side boo or do they want something with you because it seemed like they want something with you it seemed like they want to even a score and go ahead and pop a seed in you to make it seem like that's going to make you feel better when it's probably not. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, no. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what this person trying to make of you. But you coming up as the queen of wands in their life. All right. And they coming up as the king of pentacles in reverse so it looked like they want a divorce or they they with somebody but they feel more committed to somebody else which could be you but i don't know what position this person is asking you to play in their life that's the thing that you have to do you know figure out and use your discernment with all right so let's get one more round of the sexual energy for virgo Man, I'm telling you, this person going to want to spoil you. And you taking too long to get them dang on clothes off. So they going to help you out. Yeah. So even though it ain't y'all birthday and, you know, whatever, this person may want to go to a little secluded area. So I see them want to take you on a retreat as well. Somewhere up in them hills. See that house on top of them hills? That's where me and my baby going to live. So, yeah, they being real discreet, taking a scenic route. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, somebody want to drink your nectar. All right, they want you to sit on their face. And they want you to get up the next day and make them breakfast topless, okay? Don't get no pancake batter in the pancake batter, okay? All right, T. So here's the thing. This person may be an exhibitionist. They may want to pull the blinds wide open, raise up the freaking curtains and or pull the, the, the opposite way. Okay. They want to pull the blinds up, 
pull the curtains back, and they want the neighbors to know their name, okay? Because they ain't ashamed. Like I said, they came up in the house, your house, and they was naked before you. So whoever this person is, they're exhibitionist. It may, like, it may turn them on even more to know that people are knowing that they're performing, you know? It's like, yeah, they like that. <laughs> This person may even secretly tape this, especially if they know they can't come be with you right now. So beware. Make sure this person ain't propping their phone up against the dresser, taping, tape recording you without your permission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person gonna be surprised at them squats you was doing, girl, because they like that booty. They all blushing. Uh -huh. They can't resist. They just gonna get the pinch in you as soon as you... See, this person want way more than sex with you because this this is sexual energy here. It's a lot of sexual energy here, but it's a lot of, you know, before and after the sex. Like, this person is thinking about it all. They think about what they want you to cook them afterwards or in the morning, the next day. You know, this person is just mesmerized by, by you. I feel like they want to spend a weekend with you so that they can get a feel for all of that. How it feel to wake up to you. How it feel to make you breakfast in bed. How it feel to get treated to breakfast in bed by you. To undress you. To massage you. You know again to just be able to lay and be with you and talk with you like so this person they do truly miss you and i do feel like they truly love you after this confession <laughs> yeah and see that's the thing they know they know they know you know how to take care of them man you know how to take care of them well they just ready they already been fantasizing and imagining because this person know that you do you know, a ton of things without asking. Like, this person knows that you're their counterpart. They know that you are where they want to be. But with this other thing, it ain't no loose ends to be tied up because this person is tied to somebody new now. Somebody new or retied to somebody old. But they really want your touch. They miss your touch. And they want to give you theirs too. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yep. Mm -hmm. This person want a victory with you. They think about having a home. You know, a life with you where they, where you guys can just be uninterrupted, where they just don't have to leave you hanging afterwards, where they can just be with you, you know? And last but not least, you they star. They want them waterworks, period. So they trying to make you squirt. Yes, they do. They are. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting, I'm definitely getting that dominate, dominating energy. Mm -mm. This person better not be trying to bring nobody else in. Now, I'm not going to lie. This person may have a past history of, like, having swinger sex or, you know, uh, gang banging and all of that junk. Don't let this person try to bring that mess into your life. You know what I'm saying? They definitely can have somebody in their life that's close to them that's attracted to you. So watch out. Even if this person, because this person seems like they're too possessive of you, but there's a definitely a sign of another masculine that's around them that's attracted to you. So whatever you do, make sure that you ain't never the only woman presence, okay? Because I don't know. But at the end of the day, like I said, this looking like a weekend rendezvous, uh, Virgo, because like I said, this person, y'all got to discuss how y'all going to work out this little thing y'all got going on, all right? All right, guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe, join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.